a very difficult conversation that happens between couples um, is who should stay home or how do we care for children, um, that kind of that stage in that process. First, I want to say there is no right or wrong with this. And if we're not careful, we can get very prescriptive. Now, I do believe your kids need to have some priority. Um, but one of the decisions that my wife and I made in the very beginning is we found out Alex was coming our firstborn. We decided for her to stay home. Um, but after we had decided for me to stay home, because in the, in the beginning, I was sick and not well. Um, I could be home. She made a lot more money. Um, so we made that decision. But then as the weeks and months progressed towards him being born, things changed. And uh, we made a really big decision to move that actually changed my health. And then we actually made the more di seemingly more difficult decision that her with a good paying job would stay home. And I just continue to work and I've worked multiple jobs since then. Now, this isn't a cut and dry decision. This is difficult. And what I challenge you to do is to think through all the options. Sometimes you're renting or you're, you've bought a house that's outside of your means. You might need to change that. Maybe you need to move in closer to family where you have some help with caregiving of those children. Um, maybe that job needs to change. Um, there's a lot of things that you might need to lay on the table that you hadn't thought about before that help you sort through your priorities. Because that's really where it gets in, gets down to is what are your priorities? If having that really nice car is the priority, you'll sacrifice other things that are, might actually be more important when you actually think through it. So I challenge you to have everything laid out on the table and to really think through as a couple and maybe even bring in one or two other wise people to help you think through this so that you can make an informed, careful um, decision that allows for as many options as possible because I promise the results will be amazing when you get some of these things in order, when your children have the right attention from you, mom and dad, when um, your schedule isn't so full that you can't function because you're just so exhausted all the time. You need that room in there. Um, when your payments that are going out aren't so much that you're stressed and, and strapped all the time. So I challenge you to think through what risks might need to be taken, um, things that might need to be sacrificed and changes that might need to happen for you to achieve a family and a marriage that is strong, that's healthy, that's vibrant, that's growing, because that will be the key that impacts your children the most, your marriage. And I pray you build an absolutely healthy, strong, beautiful marriage. Hey, this is Dr. Corey Gilbert, and if this was helpful, um, I'd love to talk with you more. One of the ways you can do that is you can go to my Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash The Healthy Marriage. Um, join and um, join in the conversations, um, ask questions, and engage more. Um, and I'd love to get to know you. I'd love to get to know your story, and I'd love to f have further conversations with you. So bless you, and bless your family, and bless your marriage.